Toshiba Electronic Devices and Storage Corporation E-Learning Basic Knowledge of Discrete Semiconductor Device In this e-learning course, you will learn the definition of semiconductor and the basics of semiconductor devices, including diodes, transistors, isolators slash solid state relays, and power supply ICs. Chapter 1 Basis of Semiconductors Chapter 1 discusses the basics of semiconductors such as the definition of semiconductor, materials of semiconductors, n-type and p-type semiconductors, and p-n junctions. What is a semiconductor? A semiconductor is a material with intermediate properties between a conductor that conducts electricity well, like metals, and an insulator that barely conducts electricity. Two types of semiconductors, n-type and p-type, can be created by adding impurities, diffusion slash doping, to an intrinsic semiconductor that does not contain impurities. These will exhibit the properties of a conductor or insulator when voltage, current, light, heat, etc. are applied. Furthermore, by combining these, devices such as diodes, transistors, and ICs, integrated circuits, can be created. The ease with which electricity flows is related to the magnitude of the material's electrical resistance. If the electrical resistance is high, the current will not flow easily, and if the electrical resistance is low, the current will flow easily. When the ease with which electricity passes is expressed as resistivity, conductors are 10 to the power of minus 8 to 10 to the power of minus 4 ohm centimeter, insulators are 10 to the power of 8 to 10 to the power of 18 ohm centimeter, while semiconductors are in the range of around 10 to the power of minus 4 to 10 to the power of 8 ohm centimeter. Conductors include gold, silver, copper, iron, and aluminum. Insulators include glass, rubber, oil, and plastic. Semiconductors include single elements such as silicon and germanium, and compounds such as gallium arsenide, silicon carbide, silicon germanium, and gallium nitride. Semiconductor Raw Materials Silicon and germanium, which are the main raw materials for semiconductors, belong to Group 4. Pure crystals, intrinsic semiconductors, have properties close to those of an insulator. However, adding trace amounts of impurities, diffusion or doping, significantly reduces the electrical resistance and makes them exhibit the properties of a conductor. Depending on the type of impurity added, n-type and p-type semiconductors can be formed. Impurities used to form n-type semiconductors include phosphorus, arsenic, and antimony. Impurities used to form p-type semiconductors include boron, gallium, and indium. Compound semiconductors are made from multiple elements, unlike silicon semiconductors, which are made from a single element. Examples of combinations include elements from group 3 and group 5, group 2 and group 6, and group 4 elements. SICK and GAN, which are wideband gap semiconductors that have been in the spotlight recently, are also compound semiconductors. N-type semiconductor an N-type semiconductor is a group 4 intrinsic semiconductor such as silicon doped with group 5 elements such as phosphorus, arsenic, or antimony as an impurity. Group 4 elements are tetravalent elements with 4 valence electrons, while group 5 elements are pentavalent elements with 5 valence electrons. A single crystal made only of tetravalent elements such as silicon is bound to other elements by covalent bonds, and has no excess electrons or holes. This state without impurities is an intrinsic semiconductor. When a small amount of phosphorus is added to the single crystal, diffusion slash doping, one of the valence electrons of the phosphorus becomes an excess electron that can move freely, free electron. When a voltage is applied, this free electron is attracted to the positive electrode and moves, causing a current to flow. For this reason, the resistivity of N-type semiconductors, and P-type semiconductors described below, decreases as the impurity concentration increases. Silicon and impurities such as phosphorus that make up N-type semiconductors are electrically neutral as single atoms. Therefore, N-type semiconductors are also electrically neutral. However, in N-type semiconductors, the particles carriers, that carry the charge are free electrons. These carriers have a negative charge, which is why they are called n-type. P-type semiconductor A P-type semiconductor is a group 4 intrinsic semiconductor such as silicon doped with group 3 boron or indium as an impurity. Group 4 elements are tetravalent elements with 4 valence electrons, while group 3 elements are trivalent elements with 3 valence electrons. 
A single crystal made only of tetravalent elements such as silicon is an intrinsic semiconductor in which all bonds are connected to other elements by covalent bonds. When a small amount of boron is added to the single crystal, diffusion slash doping, an electron becomes insufficient at one of the bonds between silicon and boron, creating a hole where an electron is missing. This hole is called a hole. When a voltage is applied in this state, a nearby electron moves to the hole, so the place where the electron was becomes a new hole, and it appears that the holes move one after another to the negative pole. In a p-type semiconductor, the particles, carriers, that carry the charge are holes. Since holes are the parts where there is a shortage of electrons, they have a positive charge. For this reason, they are called p-type. Compound semiconductor Compound semiconductors are compounds made of two or more elements, unlike semiconductors made of a single element such as silicon, which is the mainstream of semiconductors. There are compound semiconductors that combine elements from group 3 and group 5, elements from group 2 and group 6, and elements from group 4. Examples include gallium arsenide, indium phosphorus, indium gallium aluminium phosphorus, and silicon germanium, which have traditionally been used as high-frequency devices in optical semiconductors. Indium gallium nitrogen has also attracted attention as a blue LED and laser diode, and silicon carbon and gallium nitrogen have been commercialized as materials for power semiconductors. Compound semiconductors used in devices have higher mobility high frequency, high switching, high efficiency, than single element semiconductors such as silicon, and have a wide band gap, high temperature operation, high voltage resistance, due to the strong bonding force between atoms. As a result, compound devices are used in power devices, optical devices such as LEDs, and high frequency devices. Semiconductors with wide band gaps, including single element semiconductors, such as diamond, are also called wide band gap semiconductors. PN junction. The interface between a p-type semiconductor and an n-type semiconductor is called the p-n junction. When a p-type semiconductor and an n-type semiconductor are joined, not actually joined, but formed by doping so that they are adjacent to each other, the carriers, holes and free electrons, are attracted to each other and combine and disappear near the boundary. Since there are no carriers in this area, it is called the depletion layer and is in the same state as an insulator. No bias state. Forward direction, connect the positive pole to the p-type region and the negative pole to the n-type region and apply voltage. When the applied voltage is gradually increased and exceeds the forward voltage, about 0.7 voltage for silicon, electrons flow one after another from the n-type region to the p-type region, and electrons that do not combine with holes and disappear move to the positive pole, allowing current to flow. For an explanation of the physical properties of a p-n junction, see the following e-learning. Basics of Schottky Barrier Diodes 1 to 3, PN Junction. Reverse Direction, connect the negative pole to the P-type region and the positive pole to the N-type region and apply voltage. No current flows. In the normal voltage range, the excess electrons in the N-type semiconductor move away from the boundary surface. The holes in the P-type semiconductor also move away from the boundary surface. This causes the depletion layer near the boundary surface to expand. However, if a voltage exceeding the breakdown voltage is applied, the PN junction enters a breakdown state due to the Zener effect, avalanche effect, and current flows suddenly. In a typical diode, this breakdown causes the performance to deteriorate and be destroyed. Types of semiconductor devices Electronic parts using semiconductors are called semiconductor devices. Many kinds of semiconductor devices have been developed in line with the expansion of application fields and the progress of electronic equipment. Discrete semiconductors are single devices with a single function, such as transistors and diodes. Integrated circuits ICs, are devices with multiple functional elements mounted on one chip. Typical ICs include memories, microprocessors, bus, and logic ICs. LSIS raised the degree of integration of ICs. Classification by general function slash structure is shown below.